guys, my name is Isabella and today I'm here on site to go to talk about misophonia. Have you ever felt angry when eating near someone and I don't know, the sound of this person eating just irritates you? Have you ever got angry with someone making noises? Well, I get angry about it every day, all the time because I have a condition called misophonia. If you don't know what misophonia is, that's completely normal. I went to doctors and psychologists that didn't know how to explain what I felt. But thankfully, I got to a psychologist that diagnosed me with misophonia. And today I'm here to tell you what it is. Well, basically, misophonia is a condition that makes you feel triggered by specific sounds and feel very angry and irritated and sad and all negative thoughts and emotions and oh everything it's so horrible I just lose control of my brain when I have a misophonia, misophonia attack it's basically a panic attack for example to me the, the sound that triggers me the most is people sniffing when I am in a room with people sniffing all the time like from five to five seconds. I get so angry, so sad. I have so many negative feelings that all I want is to go out of there. And when I can't go out of this place, I just feel like crying and screaming. And inside of me, I am so angry and thinking about how I want that person to that's what you feel when you listen to the sounds that triggers you. So it's very complicated and hard for us, the people who suffer with misophonia. And the hardest part is that anyone understands us. My family, for example, in the first place, they thought I was crazy or I was just being dramatic or picky and things like that. People with mental illness hear this all the time. This is the hardest part of having a mental illness, especially a rare one. But hey, nothing is lost, okay? We have hope. I've been trying therapy for a long time now and we just found out, me and my psychologist, that probably my misophonia has something to do with my anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder, which makes a lot of sense. We don't have a proper research or a cure yet. But I think the more we talk about misophonia and rare mental illness as misophonia, the more the chances that we will soon have proper research and specific treatment. Well, that's why I am here today. I am here today to try to bring awareness to this mental illness that makes a lot of people around the world suffer a lot, including myself. If you have misophonia, if you have know someone who may have misophonia, a family member or a friend, please tell us this story, comment down below. One thing for you who have the misophonia, try meditation, try therapy, seek for help, don't face it alone by yourself suffering because we're all in this together and there is hope for you to have a better life quality. Talk to your family, talk to your friends about it, tell them how you feel and make them understand that it's not you just being dramatic over stuff and it's an actual thing, it's an actually mental illness. Send this video to your friend, send this video to your family member that I have something to say to them. Misophonia is real and is serious and it makes us suffer. Don't think that we're making this for attention. Don't think that we're being over dramatic. Don't think that we're being picky because we don't have control of our brains when it comes to those triggers, when it comes to those irritating sounds. I know it sounds crazy when I say to you that your breathing is bothering me, but it really is. It's not something personal. It's just that I have a condition that I have no control of. We need support, we need awareness, we need to be together to face our mental illness. So let's share experiences and let's try to have positive thoughts and, I don't know, talk about it just because the world needs some positivity right now, right? 
that's what I had to say for this video. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, as I said, comment your story with misophonia. Comment, I don't know if you don't have any story with misophonia. You can comment, oh, I like this video. Oh, this video is very helpful. Oh, I want to see a video about that. If you want to see more videos with my face, you can go to my personal channel and my personal blog. The links will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to psych to go because they have a lot of cool videos about psychologists and it's an honor for me to be here today to talk about my misophonia. Tell me, what do you want to see for the next video? I hope you have a great week and bye!